Hello everybody, this is your fourth Saturday garden update on how the pepper plants are doing. Um, we've made it to Christmas and this is what we have. There's not much leafage left out here now, just sort of like stems really uh, of the oldest growth. Um, this is uh, doing fairly well, this little young uh, free RB20 is in fact a self-pollinated fruit from this one here at the front that's now been a stump for a few months now and a lot more stumps like that are appearing you see this one a side kick of one RB20 from the same fruit uh, has got die back on the top it's just that's not disease as far as I'm aware that's just where it's cold and it's dying back it's sort of I don't know if it's dormancy, it might be just going into dormancy, it could be dieback or bad, I don't know. That one at the back there is very looking suspicious, like it's just dying. Um, this one at the front, sorry, this, this is now a stump, there are so many stumps out here. Um, yeah, they didn't look very strong. This one, 3A OB20, is a sidekick of... 3OB20, the boss plant, over here. Well, I say the boss plant, it was like third place. Um, so yeah, I've still got that one, it's still alive. These three at the back, um, yes, I've had to prune a little bit off the top of that one because of infection, it was like mould that you get out here. One YB20, that's a yellow bell pepper plant, looking very good still, probably one of the best. Those three, these three I always put down as being very good. The sidekick though got infected in the mid area, which so it's had to be pruned. Uh, this one, from one of my first ones that I grew, the yellow bell pepper, is a uh, yellow bell pepper plant, badly infected. It's not got any worse in the last few weeks, but... There you go. Uh, this one, one A RC20 is a sidekick from the one RC20, and look at what's left. I've had to prune this today, um, and I had to use my uh, heavy-duty clippers because my smaller ones. This was too too much, and it broke. So it actually broke my clippers because of how strong that was. And I feel terrible having to do this, but it was infected, and if I leave that in, from experience, the infection just spreads. Even if I use a disinfectant wipe on there, it still spreads. So I've just had to cut below the infection and hope that that doesn't spread further down. I might put another disinfectant wipe on there again, because I've pruned it even more since. Just, I don't know, it might be too late. But the important thing is I've kept the seeds from this plant that it produced in the summer. One RC20. Um, one YR20. This plant is looking very good. You can see it's still nice and green. There's no dieback. Um, there's no areas on the stem that's turning a dark green with white spores. 3OB20 is a stump now. It got infected really badly, and you might remember in the last video, the uh, November update, how bad that was. This uh, sidekick of 2RR20, Red Ramiro plant, is all that's left now of it. But I've got seeds from both 1 and 2RR20, so we'll plant those in the spring. 3RR20, the red, another Red Ramiro, is has been infected and I've disinfected it, tried to save it, but three, I'm not worried about that because I've got one, two, three, four sidekicks through these. If I move this one and see they're all Red Ramiro, three RR20 sidekicks. So here that genetics are pretty well preserved. This is the best bell pepper from the seed packet that I bought last year. There you go. Look at that. It's just a bell pepper plant, but it's December and it's all the others out here are looking so miserable. And yet this one is just cold resistant, doing really, really well. Fantastic. A lot of these others are the ones I purchased and they are also doing really well. There's a few that got infected still that are now stumps. 
one there took a beat in I had to prune into it as per a lot of these but I have some champions and that's really good to know because I can breed those and cross pollinate them with some of these others and not to mention there's a lot of seeds in storage which I'm going to do a special update on next month um, how I store my how I save and store my pepper seeds um, easy enough but I'll do my January update immediately after that now this is the uh, stinging nettle patch I'm going to get rid of all these stinging nettles because I don't like them they're not really that fun and I can always go for walks and get stinging nettles to boil and make stinging nettle tea every every day I have it as part of my beverage in the morning every morning I have a, a couple of teaspoons of coffee with some wheatgrass powder just a little bit because that's strong stinging nettle tea in there and bone broth and vegetable broth and I mix that up and I that's my pre-workout meal and then after workout just have another cup of tea or vegetable broth again um, and that's fine now anyway getting sidetracked what I'm going to do is these I've got sticks planted here along the side of the greenhouse and out the back of the greenhouse I'm going to make a path that goes all the way over here I'm going to put some I've got some lilies that I can plant around here around this water should be really nice in the summer the bachelor button I'm going to move so the path will go round and it will hug the left side of the greenhouse through the water butt and where the water butt is I'm going to put a little another what I've got here you see this like separation that marks where the bed is and I'm going to I'm going to start a new one and it'll go to the water butt there and then you can have flowers and stuff all the way along here and I might even also plant some pepper plants outside here for the summer months because I'm bound to get too many um, well that's it that's uh, the December update and thank you for watching